Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now on my channel, we look at things in a spiritual way and working as detectives, looking at things all around the world and bringing them back to the Word of God. As in whatever side is doing anything we should be able to find the evidence from everywhere to prove that God is real and then to show that the Bible is real and that the end times are coming. Well there's a comet Ison coming it's well it's hard to say like when does a comet get here and when does it leave it doesn't show up on one day all of a sudden it becomes visible and then you will see it for a few months in the sky. We're going to watch a little news report of it, but it, it should start being seen sometime in October and then all the way through to January. Some people have made the name into I Sun, or they have even noticed that a lot of movies like Prisoners have I Sun in it. And it also has a lot to do with some of what's known as the Hopi legends of the Hopi Indians that are here in America which a lot of their signs go right with the Bible. And they talk of a blue star Kachina. And they've also talked of even many comets a lot. But in the Hopi mythology, the blue star Kachina, or Sakawaza, is a Kachina, or spirit. A Kachina means a spirit that will signify the coming of the end of the world by appearing in the form of a blue star. The blue star Kachina is said to be the ninth and final sign before the day of purification. Described as a catastrophe or a world engulfing cataclysm that will lead to the destruction of the earth. And here is another thing that I've shown on my channel too. That it seems like after this day that this is when extraterrestrial life would come. Some have interpreted the prophecy of the Blue Star Kachina to be a reference to the impending arrival of extraterrestrial life. This is your false prophet coming, if you will. That when, and this is also the time of the rapture, the time when the Great Tribulation begins, the catastrophe. All of this is in the Bible of the beginning of the Great Tribulation, if you will. But let's look at this one news report about the comet coming, and then we will dig into some more evidence of this. Because they show this right in the Denver International Airport, where the Freemasons have a lot of cryptic drawings showing America destroyed and a comet right here. So let's take a look at this. Late this year, there's a new comet that's going to blaze across the sky. Experts say Ison is going to be dazzling. That is late November. The brilliance lighter, brighter than the full moon. Chad Myers uh, is going to actually show us a little bit uh, a preview here. Hey, Chad. This could be really cool. I mean, I watched Haley's comet as a as a kid go across the sky. I'm kind of not really a kid. I was older than a kid, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that might have been a little disappointing to some. And we don't know exactly how great comets will be until they get here because the tail here, the, the moisture coming off, the ice being flown off, and the tail here. Uh, North Sky here. This is from a, a website. You can go on to eagleseye.me.uk. We found this yesterday. Dave Eagle made these from Sky Safari. So December 10th, 2013, a huge streak is what it will look like, we hope, across the sky looking to the east. Before that, it will be one side of the sky to the other. And on the 18th, it will actually be streaking across the western sky. Could be briefly, at least for a while brighter than the full moon, visible to the naked eye for sure, and possibly rivaling, we believe, the great comet of 1680, which you will find actually in ancient paintings. That's how cool this comet was. Painters of the time actually painted about this comet. We'll see if this one lives up. The, the greatest comets. Yeah, you, you don't know. We don't know until it gets here, because if it falls apart or if it melts too early, then it's not going to be a great comet. But all indications right now that this could be the coolest thing we've seen in our sky in our lifetime. Where is it going to be most visible, Chad? Where can we see it? It's going to go all across the sky, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere for a change. We had Lovejoy last year that was only southern hemisphere, didn't get to see very much of it up here, didn't get other than on pictures, but this will be all across the globe. All right, cool stuff. Thank you, Chad. You're we'll be 
Well, we can see how he talked of it, that it, it could be visible all the way through January of 2014. I show this mural here a lot that is in the Denver International Airport. I've broken down most of them, and they're showing that day. Now, this is showing the comet right here in the background. See that there? And it has a city on it. You can actually see a city on the comet. This is all in the Bible. This leopard would represent Obama falling. In the Bible, it's Jeremiah 50, Revelation 18. It's when the millstone is cast down. A millstone means it's time to harvest when the millstone starts rolling, like the rolling stone. This is a, in the Bible, it talks of ten horns. They have ten horns hidden over here. One right in the corner here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two hidden right here. See this seventh one right here? Seven, and then this eighth, and then nine, and ten horns are on here. And it says they will pluck out three. Obama would be one of the horns, and then the buffalo over here that has the blood is the other two horns. And then a little horn rises up after this, after this big event. The, you can see right here what looks like Miss Obama is carrying the blue Kachina doll. That represents the showing the Hopi prophecy. The turtle here in the Hopi prophecy, America, is called Turtle Island. That's America. The phoenix rising right here. The whale is in the Bible as a way of transition, just as when Jonah went into the whale. So you can see all of them, and they're going right up towards the comet right here. I don't know about dates, but you can see right here a 1 and a 3 for a 13. That could mean the year 2013. It could even mean Friday the 13th. We've already had one go by. The next Friday the 13th is in December. But this is showing all of that. This is even showing the rapture with a comet. This is shown also here in another chart I've broken down known as the Dendera chart. Right down here you can see this woman being set on these spikes. And then these people go and get on this eagle representing the rapture. See how these women go and get on this eagle representing the rapture. Here's the trumpets blowing. And then they start doing the taking people's heads off. This is also known as the head wound of the Bible. All of this is matching right here. Remember this person, this woman right here. They, I show that they do this with a lot of the Google Doodles. Here is the woman sitting on the spikes. There is the comet. This even represents what I keep showing as San Onofre and down near Camp Pendleton, right here. And even the tree represents, see how it's like a spiral pointing right at the comet? This represents all of us leaving exactly as this woman right there, sitting on the spikes on the eagle. It can't be faked, it's perfect. So let's go in a little closer. Right here, we can see the woman sitting on these spikes, actually bruising her heel, and then everybody getting on the eagle. In the Bible, the eagle in Revelation 12 is the rapture. The woman is carried away to a place of safety for there. Now, here is this one. This is the woman right there. Almost the same exact thing. See how the back of her looks like a face with a smile? sitting on the spikes, the two domes of San Onofre, the tree here pointing right up at the comet. This is even the same picture in the United Nations I keep showing. And after this day, the white horse rides, like the headless horseman in Sleepy Hollow, right here. Now, we showed that here in this one, but I wanted to show that the comet 
just represents a trigger effect. The blue Kachina is shown right here as this big dog known as the dog star Sirius, the blue star. And this is what I see as Obama right here, his face right here. But this is when this mask is kicked off Obama, revealing the man of perdition, and the same mask comes off the dog star Sirius, representing when we could have the spiral. See, this is representing a spiral. See, zoop, 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 right up to there. It also can represent the pine tree and your pineal gland. I've shown how the soul, <laughs> I mean, our soul can be taken right out of us and we can leave. Literally, it's, this is all real going on all around us. But the dog star is the blue kachina. But this event can knock this mask off. And you see here, we have to have the man of perdition revealed and the dog star revealed at the same time. And then this guy shows up with a little fin on his head. And he's coming to do the mark of the beast or whatever. Here's the trumpet representing the little horn of the Bible coming. When you see this penis right here, this represent nukes. Nukes will fly to make all of this happen on that day when she sits on the spikes. The spikes representing all the different nukes. So we saw the city here on this picture and then we've seen this here. Well guess what, on that comet back there it makes an eagle perfectly. There is the eagle. Perfect. You can see the little eye and everything in there. So you can see from here, zoop, and leaving with the eagle. Now we have corroborated this in several different places now all around the world. My whole channel is about this. Hundreds of videos. Enjoy them. Enjoy the adventure. There's the eagle leaving right there. See how once you see something, now you see it? Leaving. Going right at this 1 and 3. We don't know if that's, you know, Friday the 13th or 2013. Let's enjoy this mystery and keep going through here. But my channel has corroborated this in every way. So let's keep on researching and keep going. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Let's all check out all the evidence we can. This does not mean that this has to be this comet. There's, I mean, this comet was not even known about until last year or so. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.